thinking about doing agility and don't know what breed of dog to get? Well in today's video I'm going to talk about that. Hi guys, it's Chloe here from Everything Dogs with Chloe and on this channel I talk about anything to do with dogs. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. And also follow me on my social medias where I post all about my dogs. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing and let's get into the video. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you five breeds that I think are great for agility. The first dog that I'm gonna talk about is a Bedlington Terrier. I actually used to do agility with my Bedlington Terrier. Um, unfortunately, I stopped because I got pregnant, but I might pick it up again in the future. Bedlingtons are incredibly fast. Uh, they are known as the one of the fastest terriers. They are very intelligent and so easily be trainable. They absolutely love doing agility, however, they are really, really fast. So if you are a fast runner, this is the dog for you. If not, then maybe not. My Bedlington got put in as a medium dog, um, so yours might too, so that's something to think about. The next one is a Border Terrier. There is actually a girl on Instagram who is absolutely lovely. She's called Pause in Pursuit. Um, she's got two Border Terriers and competes in both. And they are gorgeous, gorgeous dogs. They are so easily trained. Um, you do need to obviously have them stripped um, to make their coat look nice. Um, but they absolutely love agility. I'll leave her link down to her Instagram down below. Go and check that out. Um, they um, can sometimes be slow, so you might need a bit of motivation with them, um, but that is down to each individual dog. The next one I'm gonna talk about is obviously a collie. There are loads of collies in agility. If you just search the internet, you'll find a collie doing agility. This is because they are super duper intelligent. They are so fast and they are so careful of like knock, not knocking down a jump and things like that. Um, obviously sometimes it can be too fast and then they go a bit flat over the jump and then they do knock the jump down. So that is definitely something to consider. If you do get a collie, you will probably be going into the large category. It's incredibly rare that you'll go into the medium ca category and it's non-existent if you go into the small one. Um, but obviously do be aware if you want to go to like championships and things like that in the large category probably I would say about 98% of your dogs will be collies so you're competing against a collie that is just as good as your collie so that is something to think about how many times can I say collie so the next one that I've got is a miniature poodle oh these are so cute and they are so good at agility. They are so fast, but they do like to tell you off. So they do bark all the way around the agility course. Um, they are very intelligent and they absolutely love agility. Um, this is definitely a dog to think about getting. They are really quick to learn. Next time I might get a, a poodle as well for my agility instead of Bedlington Terrier because Bedlingtons are so fast. Um, and obviously I can then keep up with the poodle a bit more. So that is definitely something to think about. Um, the next and final dog that I've got down on my list is a Spaniel. So like a working cocker or a show cocker. Um, they are absolutely gorgeous dogs and they are so, so clever. Um, they absolutely love agility, just like pretty much any breed of dog. Um, and they are very fast. They are super easy to train and they are really careful. And you can train with them with toys, which is also great. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new here, please think about subscribing. Don't forget to check out all the links down below and also follow me on my social media. I really hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.